motorbikes everywhere. Guys, it's my last day here in Penang, and uh, Chad and Fiona are kind enough, as usual, once again, to bring me to the airport. But before going to the airport, they've taken me to this amazing food court where we're gonna eat some breakfast before I head on out. Oh wow! This is curry meat. Very famous curry meat. Very famous curry meat. And speak nice of the devil. Here we go. We've got some curry meat right here, Penang style, all right? Ah, Penang style. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, Fiona. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you so much. So you just walk here and then go that way. Okay. I'll, I'll see, see you soon. soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. So they just dropped me off here at the airport. Um, some new friends here in Penang. And now I'm on my way to Vietnam. So first order of business is to uh, check in and find... Uh, oh, there you go. And to uh, check into my flight. Good, how are you? Sorry? Oh, uh, my booty. Thank you. <laughs> Alright guys, we're on the plane. Getting on to the plane to Vietnam. Alright guys, just landed in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Pretty smooth flight, nothing crazy, just pretty smooth. So anyway, first order of business is to process my visa on arrival, um, which you have to do before you get here, but it's pretty painless. Just have to fill out a form online, get a letter, and pay some money. So that's the first order of business upon landing here. So we're gonna go look for that spot right now. Landing visa, all right, I guess gonna go this way. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so I just processed, uh, gave my stuff to the uh, the landing visa upon landing. Very quick, once you get out of the uh, your gate, you just walk down, walk to the left, and you'll see a counter there. And just give them all your documents. And so right now I'm just waiting for them to process it before I pay for it. Um, the visa entry fee. Really, really simple. I'll probably do a video on it at some point, but, um, but yeah, uh, pretty painless so far. Made it through immigration, customs, got my SIM card, got some cash. Now I'm ready to head over to my Airbnb host. I think I'm just gonna go call an Uber. I think they're pretty cheap here and they, they work pretty well instead of taking the bus. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to go ahead and start exploring and eating some pho and banh bon meats for sure. Traffic. Traffic? Uh, many uh, motorbikes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this time, uh, no, no many. Yes, uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Uh, yeah. After work. After yeah, work. Yeah, after work. Yeah. Hey, look, there's chickens. Hope you guys aren't dinner later. Go! Or no, they're ducks. They're yellow ducks. All right, guys. So we're here in my Airbnb. Check out my nice little room here. Pretty nice. Very comfortable. I got a nice TV here. Little couch, a bed, shelf, and a nice little drawer here. So I actually um, got in here. I'm at my host probably, I don't know, three or four hours ago, but I immediately just fell asleep and took maybe like a two hour nap. I was pretty beat from last night. Didn't get too much sleep, but now, got some rest and ready to go head out and maybe grab some food and wander around a little bit. So, I'm gonna go do that right now. Man, there's so many motorbikes crossing the street. <laughs> I can't find an opening to get through across to the other side. All right, made it across. 
My Uber driver said earlier that Ho Chi Minh City is the biggest city in Vietnam and it's home to about 12 million people. That's a whole lot of people. But, you know, I'm a big fan of Vietnamese food. Very, very big fan as well. So, we're gonna go check it out. Uh, my Airbnb host gave me a recommendation of some really good banh mi from a shop from his hometown of Dalat. So we're gonna go check that out right now. Look at this, so oh my god, so many people. So many traffic. There's literally motorbikes everywhere right now that have kind of come out into the main strip of the city, of at least where I'm staying, in District 1. Look, good word. It's probably the most I've ever seen, the most people I've seen on this trip so far. Just really congested, everyone's out and about, especially on the motorbikes. Very different, very neat. And I can smell all the food out here now. A lot of street food carts, street food vendors. A lot of that grilled pork that I'm quite familiar with. Eating at Vietnamese restaurants. Very nice. All right guys, so I made it to this place called uh, Nan Gai. It is a, a banh mi place that my Airbnb host recommended. So I figured I'd give it a shot. It's nice, it's kind of in an indoor setting, not kind of in a street food setting, so a little more comfortable. And here's your sandwich. Thank you. So we got here some Vietnamese iced coffee and our banh mi. Vietnamese coffee, very, very popular, very, um, very good coffee. So let's give it a try. It's my first time trying Vietnamese coffee here in Vietnam. Oh, wow. Strong flavor. Very strong coffee flavor. Mm. Delicious. Very, very strong flavor. Very refreshing, in fact. Um, not, not for you guys who don't know, banh mi is kind of a fusion of like French and the Vietnamese cuisine. It's basically like pork, ham, or whatever kind of meat. And, and some Asian vegetables, some daikon, that is put between a French baguette. Alright, so let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bread tastes very, very fresh. Very flaky and actually fluffy. Crispy, you bite into it. It just tastes all like a nice, chewy, crispy, flaky texture of French baguette. And then you get the nice, sweet, savory Vietnamese flavor when you bite into it. Wow, very nice. It's like walking to a new country. You get to experience new things. Your tongue experiences new, a new palate, new range of flavors that will just make you go, "Wow, mm, delicious!" We're going. And this is uh, the fresh spring roll with uh, with uh, uh, beef. I think beef, beef, beef. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. You dip in the sauce, right? Yeah. yeah we're gonna dip it in a little bit of the peanut butter sauce, peanut sauce. You go. Give it a try. Very fresh. Oh, very nice. Very very fresh. Mm. The uh, the wrapper is very nice. The rice wrapper. Mm, wow. Actually, guys, our uh, restaurant is called Nam Gai, and uh, definitely check it out. Very good food. Very very friendly owner. <laughs> very nice guy, Martin. <laughs> Delicious. Excellent banh mi and the fresh spring roll. Definitely gotta check it out. All right, guys, it's raining. Hello. <laughs> so I'm in here, it's raining, so I'm gonna eat some banh mi on the way back. I don't know, I saw another stand, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Very nice people. Just sitting here with a bunch of folks. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, thank you, and then I need. <laughs> All right guys, so I made it back to the hostel after kind of running through the rain a little bit. Um, so after on my way back, uh, I actually need to head back in sooner than I actually wanted to because I do need to do some work. I actually have a uh, pretty big 
client um, proposal that I have to get on the phone for. So I had decided to come back early and uh, just to kind of relax a little bit as well and prepare for that. But then so on the way back, of course, saw some street food after eating the banh mi. So I picked up a couple things here. I actually picked up this little pork bun right here. Okay. This little pork bun. Okay, it's not so little. I mean, look, my hands, it's a pretty big pork bun. Um, and it cost about 15,000 dong. And also I picked up this banh mi, but what's interesting, she actually chopped it all up. Check it out. So it's almost kind of a banh mi salad, but looks very, very interesting. Never had a banh mi in this style. So something a little different. And this cost me 10,000 dong, which is about 50 cents USD. First, let's try the banh mi here. Okay, see the bread over here? She actually, I saw her toast it. She went inside her house and toasted it. Um, so it's just kind of, it feels like it's just toasted bread with all this uh, sauces and stuff. Let's give it a try. Different than what I had at the little cafe, which is more of a classic banh mi. Um, this one she pressed the banh mi, like almost like a, a panini, chopped it up and put it on kind of a salad format. Mm. But still very good. And the sauces, it's some kind of mayonnaise sauce, um, some chili sauce, in fact. A little bit of spicy, a little bit of heat. But again, different, different. This is a freaking big pork bun. Wow, very, very big pork bun. And at less than a dollar. Oh, it smells so good too, actually. Now, the most important part, you bite into it. Mmm. Wow, look at that. Got pork, got egg, all wrapped up in this nicely steamed bun. Wow, it's up to pretty much a complete meal right here. It's, it's hefty, I know. It got a little bit of weight in it. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna be calling it a night, going to do some work, finish up all of this food, and then um, get some rest so I can get ready for some more exploring and wandering tomorrow out here in Ho Chi Minh City, check out some of the sites, eat more food, and just wander around. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night from Vietnam. Oh my god. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh, there's a snake on my head, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's a viper. It's, the, the Vietnamese currency is called dong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a little bit of a chuckle because I'm slightly immature, but yeah, so it's 15,000 dong.